everyone, this is Janos Makula for Simon Says Stamp, and thank you for joining me today. I'm excited to bring you another episode from my bi-monthly Yippee for Yana video series. Today's video is all about creating quick stamp floral wreath cards for any occasion. Let's go ahead and jump right in. Today I'm combining beautiful floral stamps from W plus 9 with vibrant yummy ink colors from Simon along with some gorgeous sentiments from various Simon cinnamon stamps. The cards that we will be making today are one layer flat projects with no additional dimension at all. These are great to pop in the mail and send to a friend or somebody who needs some encouragement. I've already pre-cut and scored several A2 card bases and I used a light gray, craft and cream cardstock to show you how the same colors of ink would appear on different cardstock colors just to give you more inspiration. I'm starting out by stamping a cinnamon and this one reads, thanks for always being there. And I'm using Versifying Onyx Black ink and I'm stamping this onto a card base made out of Simon's Fog cardstock. I'm using my Misty to stamp the cinnamon today and I'm mainly using this tool to make sure I stamp my messages straight. The cinnamon I'm using here comes from the Thankful Heart stamp set, which is a great set for Thanksgiving, but it has some wonderful messages that can be used all year round. I plan to stamp a beautiful floral wreath with a cinnamon in the middle, and I'll be using W plus 9 Feathers and Florals stamp set. Here I'm going to quickly align a few large images from this set onto a piece of paper to form an oval. Now these images will form a base for my wreath, and once I stamp them, I will next come in and will add additional details. I've already picked a few colors of ink to use for my stamping, and my color choice is rather bold today. I don't think I've used this combination before, but I wanted to try something new. So I'm going to be using purples and teals. I have several shades of each color here. There's deep purple, bisteria, magnolia, thistle, scuba, high dive, and teal. All of these are truly gorgeous colors and they all work absolutely fabulous together. I've taped my card base onto the grid paper pad here to make sure the card would not open unexpectedly and would not prevent me from doing my stamping. I'm going to follow the image pattern I have to the right here and I'll stamp each image onto my card base forming an oval, an oval wreath, around my sentiment. Now it is best to stamp a sentiment first and stamp a wreath around it later as this way you can slightly adjust the size of the wreath and the placement of the images to make sure they do not block any part of the sentiment. So I started by stamping a medium sized flower using Visteria. Next I added a feather using Scuba. Following that I stamped another image using Deep Purple. I've never used this color before and I love it. It is very rich, very beautiful purple color. Next I stamped a different shape flower in Magnolia, another leaf in Scuba, another feather in High Dive, and finished the wreath by stamping a leaf branch using Thistle. And you can kind of tell right now that these images formed an odd looking wreath around the sentiment. The next step is to use additional smaller images to add additional imagery to this wreath to make it fuller and more realistic. I'm using smaller size flowers and smaller size leaves to do so. Now notice that I'm now staying away from the lighter ink colors and mostly inking up my images using darker shades of teal and purple. The smaller the image I use, the darker the color I pick. You don't want to use dark shades together with large images as they might overpower the rest of the stamping and draw all of the attention. So I always prefer to use lighter ink colors for bigger images and darker ink colors for smaller images. Finally, I'm going to add details to my images. Leaves, feathers, and even flowers have all additional second step images that can be used to add additional detail. I'm stamping those using a shade darker ink color. So if I stamped a feather using scuba, I'm stamping detail using high dive. If I stamped a leaf using high dive, I'm using teal to stamp the detail. Little details like this add a lot to the overall look and feel of your project, so don't skip them. It will only take a minute to stamp, and by the way, don't worry about perfect alignment or masking here. You can see I'm not being very precise or careful when I'm doing my stamping. 
I actually don't mind my images overlapping and having the second detail layer slightly offset. This is what makes this card handmade. Of course, you can mask your images if you're aiming for perfection, but for me, this is perfect enough. The people I'll give these cards to will appreciate them the way they are with the little slight offset imperfections and color overlap. So don't stress about the little things. Simply enjoy the process, the stamping process. Lastly, I'm going to add some tiny details. I'm stamping little dots using teal and high dive ink colors. These dots are flower centers, but I'll make my flower centers white. So instead, I'm using dots to stamp little dot clusters around the wreath. To make the centers of my flowers white, I'm going to use a white gel pen and will simply doodle little dots. I'm also adding white dots around the wreath next to the teal dots to complete my project. I mentioned that this design works with a number of different cinnamons. I actually went ahead and stamped a bunch of other messages onto one layer cards made out of craft, fog, and cream cardstock, just so that I could have extras on hand. Here I used Hello Beautiful stamp set to stamp the same Hello Beautiful message onto craft card base. Next I went with a special friend like you is a gift from the Loving Heart stamp set and I also stamped this one onto craft. Another message I used reads Sending Hugs and Prayers from the Friendship Blooms stamp set and this one I stamped on the cream paper. And the last one I did was You Are Pretty Amazing from the You Matter stamp set stamped onto craft. I stamped the exact same oval wreath onto all of these cards and each took less than 10 minutes to make. This is a super quick stamping project. Now before I go, I wanted to share one more tip with you. Even though I originally designed this oval wreath to be a horizontal wreath, you can still stamp it into a vertical card. Just be sure to start with a sentiment and adjust impressions accordingly. So this finishes today's video. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope I was able to inspire you to create. Be sure to give this idea a try and do tag us on social media so we can take a peek at your projects. You can find the list of supplies I used for these projects down below. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up and to subscribe to this channel if you haven't yet done so. Thank you so much for joining me today. I will see you next time. Bye!